Party People. We're gonna go check out Waikiki Brewing. Um, they have a new location, so check it out, see what kind of beers they've got going. I've been there once before, so let's go see what's going on. Clove. 
But as you can see, it's easy to drink down. <laughs> so this Idaho half is like 5.8%, which is kind of strong, I feel like, for half and wisen. So a lot of that little four ounce pour, I feel a tiny buzz. I'm ready for the jalapeno mouth. It smells really spicy. It's an amber ale with jalapeno in it. I love spicy beers though, not for everybody. Ooh. It tastes like roasted jalapeno. It's actually really good. It's not very spicy. My favorite spicy beer is Habanero Sculpin by Bellas Point. Um, this one isn't as spicy as that beer, but that's IPA, so it's a little more spicy. This is an amber. It's pretty like even balance. I like the roastiness. It's easy drinking. <laughs> I think I'm feeling a little butt. Are you dating? Oh, that's good to know. Hmm. Not so strong beers, but they're making me feel better. <laughs> Smells good. I know that they're known for skinny jeans. Ooh, it's good. It is juicy. It says it's juicy. It is pretty juicy. A little bit malty. A bit malty. What is that? Cascade Fox? What's in there? It's definitely West Coast IPA. Simcoe. Oh, yeah. Simcoe Hops. And Mosaic Hops. So it's kind of like tropical. Flowery. A little bit flowery, but not super floral. Ooh, kind of like piney at the end of it. This is a pretty good IPA, and I wonder why people like it. Six percent alcohol. Doesn't taste too strong. None of these taste that strong. They're all kind of like six percent. waiting from the Great American Beer Festival in Colorado, which if you don't know, I really want to go, so please take me, somebody. It's a robust porter. It smells really chocolatey. And one time I tried to grow Fuggle malt. It's a, like a English type, I mean Fuggle hops. It's an English type of hop, so it's not super bitter. So I understand that's why I put it in here. But I thought it was a funny name because I like Fuggle. So I tried to grow it. We grew some, but I didn't ever use it. Okay, I understand why it's award winning. It's good. It's like an easy balance. Like sometimes you get... Um, Quarters and it's like too sweet or it's like too roasty or too smoky. Um, 
it's like kind of bready, but like also has a molasses sweetness to it. So it's a, it's like good even quarter. Like most of the beers, I feel like are pretty all like even. No like super crazy flavors in them, which is good for your you know normal beer drinking. This is strongest one so far. I had six point five percent. I can only drink so much dark beer though. This is a little heavy, like the mouthfeel and everything's a little heavy. But tastes good. Not as good as the jalapeno here. I smell popcorn. You want popcorn? You might now. So, 4, 8, 12, 16 ounces of beer, and I feel a buzz. That's good. Because otherwise, what's the point? I mean, we drink because we like the taste of it, but also you want to feel a buzz. But it's also noon o'clock. <laughs> My beer people, you have to come and try the jalapeno mouth. It's so good. So good. Even if you don't like spicy, it's really, really good, really, really delicious. I think it's really hard to make a spicy beer and not make it too spicy and make it delicious. And amber ales are good because they're, I feel like anybody can drink amber ale. Um, so it's, and it's not too bitter. So I feel like when you add the jalapeno to it, it's like just gives it flavor rather than too much spice. Um, the other beers were pretty good. The Blackstrap Molasses Porter was good. I feel like, um, I like to drink porters with like, or like dark beers with like dessert or something, like, or the end of the night kind of beer. Um, can't drink them all day, but, um, the Skinny Jeans was good. It's a good basic IPA, um, and the Hef was also super light, so, you know, like I said, if you want something easy. But Jalapeno Mouth is the way to go for me here today. And I will be back. I like it here at Waikiki. They have really good um, barbecue. I've had their barbecue before. And um, it's a cute little atmosphere. Kaka'ako is so cute over here with all the murals and everything. And they have cornhole. And they have a little food truck. And um, people are super nice and helpful. All I got. <laughs>